welcome to Folk from the Boat episode 35 and I think this is our midsummer edition so happy midsummer everyone and I hope you're very well wherever you are. Um, the sun is is indeed shining for our episode and we are out on the lakes near the near the River Lee where the boat is and it's just just the most beautiful peaceful location or it wasn't until we got here and I have the most wonderful guest with me today singing with me as well it's Emily Ovenden. Hi everyone! Hi, <laughs> thank you Anna. It's lovely to be here. It's such a glorious day, isn't it? <laughs> it's totally, yeah. <laughs> so Emily, yeah. Um, you used to be in Wild Roses, didn't you? I did, what? I used to be. We used to do a lot of singing together, <laughs> we didn't did. we? Yeah, it's really nice to be back singing with you again. Mm, yeah. yeah, and we have yeah. actually, we found, because we met in the Medieval Babes as well, and then, then had our duo Wild Roses, which obviously still continues, but Emily has taken a spiritual path. But even, even on that, we've found quite a lot of opportunities to make music. We still, have. We? We've done quite a lot of things, haven't we, since, since my departure yes. into the holy realms. Involving bees, <laughs> involving being thankful yeah. for bees. Yeah, we did a lovely That's harvest something. festival. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we did. We've done lots of singing. And, and long may that con continue. You know, hopefully we'll get to do more and more stuff as as the years roll on before us. <laughs> the talking about news. the year rolling on, we were just a bit earlier, we were talking about how the, the longest day of the year is coming up, weren't we? Mm -hmm. And I was just saying, gosh, that's happened so quickly. I think it always does. It's always, and I suppose, because, I mean, I think this is different in America, but in England, like the summer holidays for schools don't kick off until like the days are getting shorter. So it yeah. always feels... I think I always felt a bit like I'd been, we'd been slightly cheated. Cheated, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And maybe slightly more so this year because of the whole pandemic and the lockdown, that this, all of a sudden, it's like we've lost a little chunk of the year, isn't it? And all of a sudden, mm. we're going to get shorter It's become days a quarter, again. hasn't it? Yeah. It's kind of, because when May Day came, and May Day is such a folk celebration, mm. I think we all really felt it in the folk world that all the fun things we would be doing with our friends we can couldn't come it's these these moments bring everyone together well and, like likewise i mean yeah. holy week which is the kind of really major important festival mm. in the church calendar you know we were all sort of stuck at home and not gathering together you know and i, I mean i you know it's so nice to see you but obviously we yeah. can't actually we're at a distance we are <laughs> at a distance something has come between us mm. <laughs> you know and yes yeah, so it's it's been a bit of a strange year, hasn't it? For those of us who are used to coming together and gathering and doing things, whether that's music or worshipping or whatever, it's, yeah, it feels like a little bit of a chunk of the year has been sort of taken out. It does, yeah. yeah. Um, talking of, well, actually, that's not even a very good link, but talking of things taken from us, I shall tell you about the song we're going to, we're going to sing. Um, this is one I, we sang, sang together quite recently, although we've not recorded it, recorded it, so perhaps that will happen. Um, uh, the Wild Mountain Time, um, and I did a little bit of digging back to find um, to find the uh, earlier version of it, um, which is called the the Blaze of uh, the Braze of Balquhither, and the poet was Robert Tannehill, and he wrote it in the first years of the 19th century. Um, I think talking of taken from us, it's because his. Um, he had a... He's got quite a tragic story, he has a tra he? He has a tragic yeah. story, and it's a beautiful story. Yeah, he was known as the Weaver poet, and he... Um, so, sort of, un unlike many, he was, was of working class origin, trained in his family's profession apprentice to become a, a weaver, and ended up, when his father passed on, supporting his, um, supporting his um, family. Um, wrote some beautiful poems of which some were published and this was one that was published uh, with music uh, music that's probably taken from a folk folk song folk tune that was uh, around at the time but in 1810 when he uh, couldn't get his works published um, sort of fell fell into despondency really and took uh, burned burned all of his manuscripts and took his life through drowning mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very tragic tale, isn't it? Mm. It sadly, it seems to be not a completely unusual tale, though, of, of of people in the arts. I mean, I think about people like Schumann, you know, who had a very tragic life as well. You know, have you ever thought about burning all your manuscripts? <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever had those kind of moments? I haven't had a burning manuscript 
moment actually I've probably had the odd drowning moment but I'm I'm not there at the moment everyone so please don't worry uh, I, think, I think I slightly <coughs> had a burning manuscript moment when I sort of decided to shift my life away from music and 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 towards the church ah. and I think what's been really interesting about that shift is that I sort of felt like I was leaving music behind, but actually that hasn't been the case no, at all. It's a thread that runs yeah. through. Yeah. And if anything, actually I've been doing more music since I've been training for the church, you know, than I than I did before I started. And that I've heard process. you do a beautiful like sung sermon, you didn't an evening song. Yeah, so. yeah, there's a lot of music involved. It's it's it, it's funny, isn't it? Because actually sometimes those moments of, you know, burning the manuscript, it it's, it can just lead you to something else. It can lead you to a new place where, where you can flourish and, you, and maybe a new life of creativity can come out of those ashes. Absolutely. I think it was. Um, I think it was required at some point in history when people joined the church to who were artists to to actually burn their previous works. Oh, really? I've seen this yeah. in. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not clear, but like Renaissance painters. Yeah. Was, yeah. I think when they. Interesting. Can do that. Of course, the relationship between the church and the mm. arts has been really significant since, you know, the dawning of time, you know, it since, has. Yeah. yeah, so, so our, um. our continued collaboration is, is a lovely thing and, and very appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall, without further ado, go back to the boat and, uh, and sing you this song. Return with the smiles to the 